Hey guys, Iceface here and today we're playing Valor Legends once again. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about guild technology, how to... So everything to do with the guild really, guild store, guild prey, guild dungeon, guild... Not guild war, but predominantly guild tech. And to start it off, I do have a seed to open, just to see if we get lucky. Give some luck to us. No, nada. So... First of all, guys, let's talk about guild tech. As you can see, there's loads of different categories. So you've got your rangers, your priests, your mage, your assassins, and your warriors. Um, there's some key points in each one that you need to do take a look at. Um, and I'll explain why. So starting off with the assassins, I believe early on, assassins and rangers are pretty foolproof ways to gain better stats. Um... For the most heroes because most of the best heroes are assassins and rangers i.e the assassins you got gar ramiel rangers you got celia felix um both very desirable in each category there so you might want to prioritize going for one of them first potentially um so yeah first stat that's very important so the boost all assassin heroes attack plus nine percent is pretty big because it's going to boost his base attack by nine percent which is going to depend on the stats so you nine percent on top of that it's really really nice actually to have this incremental increase and i believe it's a very important <clears throat> stat to get the attack speed attack speed is nice as well so you can put some into this and the actual basic attack is good as well i believe getting this up is only going to help part in part with both of them because if you just based it off that, you're gaining 9% more. But it's actually the overall attack being increased. If I give you an example. If we go to Gar. You're going to see this is his attack here. And then we can go into the individual. So this is 9% higher. Because it is, of course, 177,000. So if you minus 9%. is going to be that increase in attack. Or the overall damage. Now going back into the guild tech, so overall they're all like you know eventually you will get them all up, but it's sort of prioritizing first of all like HP is really nice as well, but I feel like higher attack is more important and attack speed on assassins, just because you know you're gonna be able to kill the enemy quicker with higher damage, whereas HP is just gonna help you survive longer. Um, but really you want to try kill them as quick as you can, I believe anyway. Warriors, warriors are actually pretty good, so HP is pretty important for warriors as well, and defense. The block is good as well, especially if you've got the, what I'm going to show you now actually, something new, we picked up a new rune. We picked up an eternity rune from the auction house, and as you can see, when successfully blocked, restore up to 17% of max HP, so every block restores 17% of max HP. I will be putting this on Kat, Katarina when I do unlock her and level her up. I do have one copy of her right now, but we are working on Olivia first. So that's basically it for Warriors, guys. You know, you, you will manage to max them all out eventually, but I believe HP and defense are very important for frontline tanks. Then we've got the Mages. The overall attack is very good for Mages as well, and skill damage. I believe skill damage is very, very important for mages. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not the biggest mage player, but I, I would have thought that the attack and the skill damage are super, super important in the guild technologies. And then for priests, I quite like this one. So in energy increased when attacking. It means like you know you're gonna get them skills off quicker because it's increasing your energy percent, which is actually pretty nice. And I think. Putting the defense and HP up is very important as well, once again, so it makes them more tanky. If you've got that free priest team, you can even put Michaela in there now as well. will help you out quite significantly. And then for rangers, I've done the same as assassins really. You've got all the ranger heroes attack, plus 9%. The boost ranger heroes, just basic attack. So this is a percent on top, and this is the base stat itself. And then we have the armor pierce, which is, of course, really nice as well. So I would definitely do one, maybe two, three, or two, three. 
doesn't really matter which way round they go. Armour Pierce is nice though, so don't underlook that or overlook it, should we say? But this one has to be maxed to thirty as quick as possible. So that's it for Guild Tech guys. Basic overview. Then let's talk about the Guild Dungeons. So in the Guild Dungeon guys, once you get to the maximum level, as you can see, you're going to get a thirty percent level reward. You're going to gain these chests for killing bosses. And what these actually give you is guild tokens and gold. And then for the individual hits, as you can see, you can get a chance to get loot as well. As you can see, 3.42k. Um, if we see, is there any... So, we do have to kill all of them, but I have three challenges left. So let's see if there's one that only has... Okay, so we'll go for these ones. We will clear out these ones for the guild. And you can see, these are pretty easy dungeons. Like, don't think you're going to struggle here after a while. Like, at first you will, but then, you know, you start booming past it. And you just outscale the dungeons significantly. You do get less tokens for challenging bosses. But you do get the overall gain once your guild has killed them. So it's kind of up to you whether you want to kill a boss or get more tokens. But you do get more tokens just for killing the, the mobs not the actual boss defined units. So like you've seen I got 2.1 there. Whereas in the other ones I get 3.2ish. But we do want to help out the guild a little bit. Because we are going to be able to buy something in the guild store now. Which is what I wanted to show you. As the last part of the video. To do with guild tech and store. Right so. That's the guild dungeon guys. Really easy. This is max level guild dungeon, of course. So then we come to the guild store. As you can see, I can buy tokens that are going to awaken my gear. Now, right now, I am working on a couple different pieces of equipment. I want to do Celia's equipment. I want to get guards equipment. I want to get Ramiel's. And then I want to work on the priests, of course. But... First things first, guys, we need to start getting this Celia's equipment higher. So we're going to buy this token. And then we come over to our Celia. Where is she? Here she is. We're going to do the ring first. Or second, should we say. And this is going to greatly increase the stats, as you can see. And then the second avulsion is an extra 23k HP. And over 1,000 attack, which is obviously going to help with them stats. So that being said, guys, that is it for today's video. We've done a basic... Oh, Guild Pro as well, guys. You can do all of these every day. It is pretty good for Guild technology. But yeah, like I said, guys, basic overview of Guild Tech, Guild Dungeons, how the Guild Store works, and the Prey. Guild Wars, we have a whole series of videos on that. Two different playlists, Guild Wars Season 3 and Season 4. We are going into the finals, as you are all well aware, if you watch the videos. That will be a very interesting video to see. As you can see, I'm not going to click anything, but we are in the Grand Finals. Um, well, I'm going to bet on Asgard, of course. And yeah, that being said, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do consider smashing the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all on the next one.